Good morning, brothers and sisters. I had this morning already a prayer. I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. How, how, how it works. As long as I say thank you for my waking up and he gives me a life and he loves me and he gives me everything what I need. So, all right, for, before reading, I want to pray. Thank you, dear Lord, for everything what you've done for me. Please, may this reading reveal to me something new, what I didn't know. Please, God, I need to know your secrets from the heaven, which you send us to this book. The Holy Spirit insp inspired these people to write your word, that Jesus Christ is our Lamb. I, I confess with my mouth he's the only way to the heaven. Through him only, all the living beings can come in the, in the presence of you, Father, or our Abba. Father, I love you. Love, uh, I love my sisters and brothers who love you too. I am not ashamed of your word. I'm not ashamed of your son's gospel. Father, I love you and I will be weapon in your arsenal. I need to be a part of your army who is fighting for you so other people can be saved. Your ordained people can be saved. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, let's read some pieces from Second Peter. All right. This letter is from Simon Peter, a slave, a, an apostle of Jesus Christ. I'm writing to you who share the same precious faith we have. This fate was given to you because of the justice and f fairness of Jesus Christ, our God and Savior. Amen. May God give you more and more grace and peace as you grow in your knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. Thank you very much, Peter. By this divine power God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know Him, the one who called us to Him Himself by means of His marvelous glory and excellence. And because of His glory and excellence, He has given, he has given us a great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you to share, share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption co caused by human de desires in view of all these all of this make every effort to respond to god's promises supplement your faith with the generous provision of moral excellence and moral excellence with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with patience endurance and patience endurance with god good godliness god godlines god godliness and patience endurance with godliness and godliness with a broad brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love for everyone this is powerful this is very powerful the more you grow like this the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ but those who fail to develop develop in this way we are short short-sighted or blind in this way are short-sighted and blind forgetting that they have been cleansed from their old sins so their brother and sister work hard to prove that you really are among those god has called and chosen do these things and you will never fail away then god will give you grand 
entrance into the internal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So we need to work hard. These are not games. This is not just a Sunday Sunday preach. This is not Sundays. You know, this this requires um, patience. This, this requires endurance. This requires a sacrifice. This requires to pick up your cross and follow Jesus Christ. Paying attention to scripture. Therefore, I will always remind you about these things, even though you all already know that uh, already know them and and are standing firm in the truth you have been taught and it and it's only right that i should keep on reminding you as long as i live for our lord jesus christ has shown me that i must soon leave this earthly life so i will work hard so I will work hard to make sure you always remember these things after I am gone. For we were not making up clever stories when we told you about the power, powerful coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We, sh we saw his majest majestic splendor with our own eyes when they received honor and glory from God the Father the voice from the majestic glory of God said to him this is the dearly loved son who brings me great joy we ourselves hear the voice from heaven when we were with him on a holy mountain because of the experience, we have even greater confidence in a message proclaimed by the prophets. You must pay close attention to what they wrote, for their words are like a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns, and Christ the morning star shines in your hearts. Above all, you must realize that the prophets, prophecy in the scriptures ever came from the prophet's own understanding or from human in, in initiative no those no those prophets were moved by the holy spirit and they spoke from god no those prophets were moved by the holy spirit and they spoke from god exactly so not 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 that they wrote because they wanted to wrote because the Holy Spirit moved them to wrote that and God was speaking through them but there was but there were also false prophets in Israel just as there will be false teachers among you they will cleverly teach destructive heresies and even deny the master who brought them in this way they will bring sudden destruction on themselves. Many will follow their, their evil teaching and shameful immorality. And because of these teachers, the way of truth will be slandered in their greed. They will make up clever lies to get hold of your money. But God condemned them a long ago and their destruction will not be delayed thank you lord for showing me this i need to learn this but lord i know i know you want me to be patient it's not me who can judge these people it's not me who's going to tell them that they are doing wrong this is you who's going to do it and i know i know the devil wants me to be falling for this brother brothers and sisters I suggest you to, 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 to examine yourselves, examine the spirit who you're meeting, examine them very carefully. These passages are given for me for no reason, uh, uh, like I, I meant uh, without, uh, it's given me, I, I, I don't know why, I just opened and I started to read this. And I see that Peter wanted me to understand something here, that God wants me to understand here, that Jesus wants me to understand here, the Holy Spirit wants me, want me to understand here somewhere, something. I'm going in Sundays in church, 
and I'm not sure if this church is right for me. This this made me think more harder about about everything. All right, I'm gonna stop here. Yeah, we're gonna continue more there. Or, or I'm gonna read a little bit more. Let's read a little bit more. For God did not spare even the angels who sinned. He threw them into the hell in gloomy pits of darkness where they are being held until the day of the judgment. And God did not spare the ancient world expect, expect for Noah and the seven others in his family. Noah warned the world of God's righteous unjudgment. So God protected Noah with Noah when he destroyed the world of ungodly people with a waste of flood. Later, God condemned the cities of Sodoma and Gomorrah and turned them into the heaps of ashes. He made them an example of what will happen to ungodly people. But God also res rescued a lot of lot a lot out of Sodoma because Sodoma because he was he was a righteous man who was sick of a shameful immorality of the wicked people wicked people around him yes lot was righteous man who was tormented in his, in his soul by the wickedness he saw the and heard the day after day so you see the Lord knows how to rescue godly people from their trials even while keeping the wicked under the punishment until the day of the final judgment. He is especially hard on those who follow their own twisted sexual desire and who despise authority. These people are proud and are arrogant. They're daring, daring even to scoff at supernatural beings without so much as trembling. But the angels who are far greater in power and strength do not dare to bring from the Lord a change of blas blasphemy against those supernatural beings. Whoa, this is, this, this, this is powerful. I love this. These false teachers are like unthinkable, unthinking animals, unthinking animals, creatures of instinct born to be caught and destroyed. They scoff at things they do not understand. And like animals, they will be destroyed. Their destruction is their reward for, for the harm they have done. They love to indulge in evil pleasures in broad daylight. They are a dis disgrace and stain among you. They delight in deception even as they eat with you in your fellowship meals. They commit adultery with their eyes and their desire for sin is never satisfied. They lure unstable people into sin and they are well trained in greed they live under god's curse they have wandered off the right road and followed the footsteps of balama son of beor who loved to earn money by doing wrong but the balama was stopped from his mad curse when he when his donkey rebuked donkey rebuked him with a human voice whoa the donkey spoke to the balamans and rebuked him but that's what it is that that's what's gonna happen this book is live you need to understand this book is not lying this book is real and he is this 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 is not a joke this is not a joke i love this book everything in this book i love Whatever this book is saying, I'm I'm taking it seriously because this book is this book is live. It breathes in li life into the into the dead, 
it gives sight of to the blind it gives love to hateful Th this this book reveals the god's essence itself in itself and i love god for that that he gave this book so we can read today my brothers and sisters i'm gonna leave you now amen take take a good rest take a good take a good prayer before you go outside and 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 and, and do god's work i love you all be 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 well and be good amen bye